Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm just a Leeds thing, and I try to bring out Leeds United content, content on a daily basis. So if you are new around here and you've never seen my face before, stay tuned, and uh, we'll always uh, update you on Leeds United news. And before we do, make sure you like the video. The more likes we get on the video, the more the opportunity you get for when we do reach 2,000 subscribers to be entered in a giveaway of two lovely Leeds United shirts for this season. So I'm really excited because... I get to give back to the community. I get to give back to you guys who are constantly keeping coming back and supporting uh, my dreams. And I guess just being able to communicate and have a brilliant conversation with you. So there's plenty of talk about uh, today. In today's news, we're going to be talking about Tyler Adams. We're going to be talking about the, the Bielsa training back in action. We're going to be talking about a few transfer speculations and then as well the update of Voba and Carl Barlow. But I just wanted to start off by... Uh, talking about Daniel Farker uh, and uh, the, the, the Parag Marath and the 49ers and all this type of stuff. And according to the Daily Mail, the, the obviously the, the, ex, the, the stadium expansion has been going on for years now behind the scenes. Apparently the, two years ago when we got into the Premier League, there was supposed to be talks about the stadium being revamped to a 55,000 uh, 55, 55, capacity stadium. And obviously it never, it never really panned out. But the 49ers are willing to put in 200 million pounds or 200 million dollars to be able to revamp uh, Ellen Road. I'm really, really excited. I mean, there was reports um, of the, the the oval style of stadium, like in, in, in the San Francisco 49ers and like Tottenham Hotspur, but uh, Paragmarath has come out and said that he wants it to be more like Anfield. So it's more of a rectangle style stadium where it's it's still compact the atmosphere will be roaring can you imagine you can just imagine how loud thirty-seven thousand fans are but can you just can you just like think about how how loud it's going to be when there's about fifty thousand league league united fans singing their hearts off and celebrating it's it's going to be mental absolutely mental i'm really excited i mean i think this progress is only going to happen when we just get back into into the premier league and i think with the 49ers they're expecting to 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 bounce back straight away and as well i just wanted to talk i was going to do a different video on this but i just wanted to bring it in this video more so as well so with daniel farker we all know he's done well when it comes to norwich in two consecutive uh, uh, promotions he, he did okay uh, 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 Borussia Mönchengladbach back in 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 Germany, um, but would you be okay if it took two seasons? Because I don't know. I just have like this weird feeling that I've I've got a positive feeling about the season, but I've just got a weird feeling like that little niggle in my brain or in my stomach that Leeds United won't get promoted. I want them to get promoted, and I do believe that we will. And I'm going to be very positive. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to say we're going to finish fourth or fifth uh, this season. And, uh, but would you be happy if it took two years to get back into, into the Premier League, uh, with Daniel Farker and then obviously rebuild from there? And I, I don't know if, I don't know if I would be too bothered about it because I mean, it took Bielsa two years. We almost got promoted in the first season, but I think if we was to get promoted in the first season under Bielsa, I think that we would have struggled more because obviously we didn't really have uh, much investment in the club anyways. Um, the second season, we just walked the division, and uh, it was in a sense it was like a, a, a walk through the park in the first season in the Premier League. Whereas like Daniel Farker, he's a new manager, he's got he's got good credentials, a good CV, but I don't know if I would be bothered if it took two years because obviously it's a it's a step it's a step in the right direction. If we can finish in the playoffs, great, and then obviously in the next in the next season if we can get promoted back to the Premier League. I'd be. I think I would be happy about that. So comment down below if if you would be happy or not, or if if you want or need or demand, should we say, Leeds United to be back in the Premier League in the first time around. And there's also news by the Daily Mail um, saying that the Bielsa training is back in action. There's obviously the photographs of uh, the players vomiting after training sessions. Lots of fitness, lots of sprinting drills. Lots of bleep tests, and I like that. You know, I mean, when it came to like Jesse Marsh, when it came to Javi Gracia, uh, Sam Allardyce, these, in a sense, went a little bit easier on on these players. And I think, yeah, fair enough. When it comes to this type of training, the intensity, that high intensity training, I think it's very difficult for players to keep on uh, on top of that. But I guess that's why you need to continue investing uh, if you want the project or this type of um, project to to work and. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be like Bielsa or completely like Bielsa, where it's like murder ball and all these types of stuff. But it's nice to see that he's going to put the players through some hard, hard times. I mean, they do get days off. Not like Bielsa, where he had, he had them in every day. He did, uh, Daniel Farker does give him a couple of days off in a week just to be able to recover and rest. But I'm, 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 I'm really excited from the pictures and stuff like that. And this is another reason why I wanted to talk about it was... Tyler Adams, he put on his Instagram post back soon and we saw him do the bleep test or the fitness test and he and he seemed to be running. So his progress from his injury, he could be back sooner than we, we all expected. I mean, there is reports that he could be back around about September time, October time. But if we can, if we can like just slowly wiggle his way back into, into the team, I think that's fantastic. I mean, it's really, really good news that he's on 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 the pitch now and he's he's slowly getting his fitness back up but we don't want to like put him in straight away and then risk uh having another bad injury as well so that doesn't mean that he's going to stay i'm really hoping he does because obviously we've still got another month to go yeah we've got another like four or five weeks until the transfer window's over but i'm really hoping and praying that he will see the project he will like the project what the 49ers uh, are selling and stay at the club uh, for the remaining years i mean it's an attractive proposition, isn't it? I mean, we've we've got a good manager, we've got billionaires as investors, we've got a a a, a company who have built San Francisco 49ers from nothing to ex the extreme of high merchandise sales, high profitable margins, and I guess being one of the uh, world's number one when it comes to like commercial buys and all this type of stuff. So Leeds United are in for a very, very good future. I'm really, really excited. I mean, from everything that I'm hearing, everything that I'm seeing, they're working quick. Not like where Radrazani, he, he wouldn't, he wouldn't put plans into action straight away. He would always have to wait and wait and wait and wait, and it would just get prolonged. Whereas the 49ers, they just seem to be like, boom, 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 boom. Everything sorted quickly, blah, 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 plan in action. And that's and I guess that's how we how we like it. And I'm really excited to see how Ellen Road's going to uh, turn out to be as well. Because I mean, uh, Peter Lowry, he's got obviously there's like 20 acres of land that's um, available around Ellen Road, and apparently there's going to be restaurants, there's going to be pubs, there's going to be like uh, uh, like commercial shops and stuff like that, like retail shops surrounding uh, Ellen Road. So obviously that's that's another way of being able to bring in income. But at the same time, it's going to be able to give fans a different. Or a better experience while being, being uh, 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 while waiting for for the game, shall we say? And the run about wait, um, the run about bringing a program in to be able to get transport from uh, to 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 Ellen Road because obviously if you don't want to know where it is, it's quite difficult to find. And I'm really really excited to see that this is going in the right direction where we want to be again. So it's. Uh, it's really, really good. Anyway, I'm waffling. <laughs> um, on to Carl Barlow now. Uh, he's, he's more in advanced talks. Rubizio Romano came out maybe about uh, five, six hours ago. Uh, yesterday, should we say, yesterday evening, five, six hours ago when this was recorded because it was around about 8 p.m. Uh, Wednesday night when I did this video, saying that there are more in advanced talks now. The proposition has been, in a sense, almost concluded and a deal will be done should, or should be done in the next couple of days and i'm really excited about this signing i'm going to do more of a video if he does sign i'm going to do more in in, in that video with, uh, with hopefully with someone to go on live with uh, and then obviously we can have a discussion about that as well so that's absolutely fantastic and then last of last of all the news of max verber according to uh, according to a source uh, max verber uh, transfer has been delayed due to the fact that um brushy and much and black back um need to sell their defender i think there is he's off the wolves uh, correct me if i'm wrong but i think he's off the wall behind the wanderers so be able, the, the, the only way they'll be able to get max verber in is if they can uh, sell uh their, their defender too so it's in a sense it's more of like a like for like type of swap so his his transfer to uh to, to germany is on hold at the moment but uh, we all know what happened with Rasmus Christensen. That was on hold and eventually it went through. So if Boba wants to go, get rid of him. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's just been a pack full of news for, for this morning. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio. Peace.